I want to start by saying that Malik, this chair that I sat on that I enter inside, make sure I say I'm leaving this. You drop money for under four. Check one, two. <coughs> Hi, my name is Blessing Tangban and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm just kidding. Hi, my name is Blessing Tangban. I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm a guitarist, I'm a producer. And uh, we are here today to let you know something better than sliced bread just dropped in your city. My EP that has been two years in the making is here. I don't know why you're not screaming for joy where you are. I'm like a turtle inside my body. I'm dancing. I'm so excited. The EP is here. It is here. It is here. It is here! Yeah. First of all, it took me a while to come up with the name of the EP, right? I wanted to call it organic music because I think I was just clueless at that point. I didn't know what to call it. The EP is so eclectic, there's just so many different things going on that are just so magical and organic and that's just what I wanted to call it. But then, I'm like, you know what, wait, why don't I call it, what's the second name I came up with? I've forgotten, but I said I want to call it that, that second name that I've forgotten. Wait, oh I've forgotten. Anyways, I've forgotten the second name of the EP, but what happened was that in the studio, when we're doing like the last listening of the song and we're, we're, we're making uh, plans on how to promote it. I remembered my clothing line called OOF and OOF means out of the ordinary fear. I was like, hold up, what? This whole time it's been right in front of my face, like literally the EP is, is out of the ordinary feel out of the, like you've never heard anything like it it's not ordinary and I was like you know what why don't I just call the EP that and my team was like excited they're like yeah most deaf most deaf and we already have a brand for it you know and that's what I'm wearing right now anyway so I'm wearing oof this is oof that's what I'm wearing right now so so that's the name of the EP it's oof some people like to call it off it's not off some people like to call it oof it's not oof it's oof My first album dropped in 2016, so you can imagine your favorite musician since 2016. She has just been dropping for people singles, 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 singles. And um, my band has been working so hard. You know, every song you hear ever, we we spend years playing them over and over and over again, building them, you know, developing them. Uh, uh, uh. And so I, I just felt like it wasn't time for me to go to the studio with those particular songs because they were still in development. We we're still playing them trying out different versions of what they would sound like and that's why it took that long that's why it definitely took that long um i started doing the actual recording but i was performing it since 20, 2018 but i actually started doing the recording in 2020 and then you know covid happened well that was like end of 2020 anyways after covid that's when i recorded the songs by that time we have played those songs so they people were already asking like where can i download this where can i download like shit i need to go in the studio and do a whole project so that's when I went in the studio to do them. And then, of course, you know, other things going on that led to it being ready now. Oof is a compilation of five songs. The first song, Serum, is written entirely in Ejagam. That's my language. Uh, because, you know, I, I felt a responsibility to express music in that, in that particular language and it just came natural to me. Um, it's, it's, it's something, there's a message in the song that's so personal to me that, you know, saying it in English would just adulterate the entire feeling that, you know, I was feeling while I was singing it. So that is definitely entirely in Ejagam language. If you're an Ejagam speaker, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Otherwise, when I put the lyrics up, you'll see the meaning. But Serum is, is spiritual. It's like a song from the great beyond. It is deep it is it is thorough it is rough it is emotional it is vulnerable it's real it's it I, I think that that is a song that is me to my core 
and when you listen to it you know you, you know what i'm talking about so uh the next song on the ep is called phoebe oh my precious baby phoebe you know my child i i also wrote that song in my language um because of what i wanted to say i just couldn't quite say it in english you know phoebe doesn't even mean anything the title itself but it just fit you know in the melodic it just fit in the melody of the song but but everything else of course has a meaning but that song is in it is deep it is it is i'm basically just asking myself like why do i spend so much time running after something when anything is going to be is going to be anyway so that's what i did there and i'm so excited for you guys to hear it it's my baby the third song on the ep is called blessings upon blessings i mean if you've seen me in a show <laughs> if you've seen me in a show in the last one year you know i've been blasting that song back to back to back to back to back because why not you know the song is amazing it has a root reggae type feel but i think every song on the ep is actually me because it's not quite what you would hear it's not ordinary you understand what i mean it's not you cannot say okay this is this is this, this. it sounds like but it's not you know it's oof uh blessings upon blessings the message is pretty it's, it's in a song it's just you know it's not by work it's not by effort if not by that all of us who don't blow so it's definitely you know god's blessing that that takes you to where where they they are going to be in life that doesn't mean you should not work hard work hard though what you say is blessing that thing <laughs> the next song is called uh the beat there's something new that I'm, you know, that I, I delved into. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's the beat, you know. The beat's calling. I am falling. The beat's calling. The one thing I want you to look out for in that song is the bass line. It is spiritual. It is like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. If I start talking about this EP, I will not leave yet today. It's, it's, everything is just out of the ordinary feel. All the elements and particularly my producer um e keys i like i've been working with him i worked with him on my first album and then i'm working with him now but he's you know entirely like this in producer for this one and i don't even know where he even got all the sounds that he put in there but there's it was exactly what was in my soul that he just brought out and i think that our connection was just magical and that's the reason why we're able to come up with something so amazing. Songwriting entirely done by me, of course. Except the beat. The beat, I had to collaborate with C. Joe because, you know, it's not, it's not, I'm not too strong in that area. So he, he definitely helped me out with that. And his, his writing is impeccable. It's amazing. And when you listen to the song, you'll see. Check one, two. <coughs> My name is Godwin SN popularly known as G-Sticks. In fact, most people don't even know my real name. <laughs> they know me to be G-Sticks. And um, I do music, officially the drama of Blessing Tamba. My name is William, William Umoke Nkuma. Um, I'm a bass player. I'm a civil engineer by profession. Uh, my name is um, Chukwe Emeka Sulomonohab Ike but um, known as the keys on the beat. Uh, I'm a music producer. Blessing, to me, I would say she's actually a blessing as an artist. And um, one of the things that, are, that has kept me going, working with her up till date, yeah, one of the things that, are, that has kept me going, working with her up till date is um, the fact that I saw the vision and, you know, this tallies with what I actually want working with a musician, precisely, you get. And I, I would say, I would say, I would say, For me, it's just God because in her, in her music, I found my own place, like my own sound, you understand? So, uh, 
I think I will always want to work with this beautiful soul. <laughs> yeah, I think I will always want to. I thank God for blessing for this project. Um, it's, it was just like rehearsal. Seriously, blessing will just call you, come to the studio and pour your heart out. That's what she does. So nothing, there is no, it must be like this, there's no, it must be like this. You just, just do your thing. So you have the freedom to explore. Exactly. Um, honestly, I would say it has been a, a nice experience. Reasons be that uh, working with Blessing, you have to just prepare to think of all the sounds you can think of. <laughs> because she can travel to China and tell you, I want this sound. I want cello. I want cello, I be cello. <laughs> Every time I'm on that song, I must... God, this girl wants big sound. She says she's not in the boom. She's not bam. Ay, 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 bam. E, I'm not feeling it. E, it's not loud. E, 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 Well, who am I? I'm E. <laughs> I'm E. I am a thorn to her flesh. <laughs> if you want to know that particular musician that will always give a headache. Yeah, I am. That is me. Um, but but it's all for the best. It's all for the greater good. Um, apart from Gistics, the drummer, who is always very serious. Don't worry. <laughs> he would say that for himself. He's always pointing out that thing that is not right. And most of the time, it's, it's always good because has helped us in most of our all of our tours and to make sure that we are well comfortable but that's just it but between me and blessing we have our thing i would say personally my ability to interpret a kind of music um, has really helped me to stay in touch to stay in line with a sound you understand because it's one thing to, to be good as a musician professionally. It's another thing to be able to interpret someone else's sound you get. So, you know, the moment, the moment, like, she's a work in process and I'm still learning that part and I'm still learning more, you get. Because day in, day out, she comes out with good, you know, kind of creative, wicked, sweet sound, you get me. So. I try as much as possible to, to get to know who I'm dealing with, who I'm working with, how she sounds and, you know, I, sorry to say this, I don't know whether it's there or yes or something, but this question you just asked me, man, it's so deep because most of the times, even in the, in the place of rehearsals, I, I get to like, ah, no, 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 B, this is not even sounding like you. I, I, I don't know how it comes, but I know in me, I could actually interpret a sound. So whenever I get something that doesn't, you know, that doesn't feel like, you know, the way blessing sound and all of that, it it actually makes me, it prompts me to like, no guys, I think we should just, let's just try doing it this way. Let's try doing it this way and all of that. Over the years, I've um, learned to, okay, let's say I started production in 2004 and coming from then till now, I, I learned a lot of sounds. And so, um, hearing blessing sound, I felt like, okay, I could do something on, something big on her kind of sound with the experience I've had, but was yet to put into um, test or practice. If, if blessing would just, you know, this is the song, this is what I'm trying to do. Um, during that particular rehearsal at that time, we would try to, you know, cook up what we can. Then later, when we get home, it just, it comes. I thought it when I was little, but I've come to understand now that life is a balance. And the way the world is set up now, you just can't be caught doing one thing. You know, you have to versatilize. So that goes for me. Um, I've always been a musician, you know, from, from my whole family is musical. 
first of all for my <laughs> my dad my grandma used to joke that she she used to go to Kanu from Crush River State when they were younger to go and look for my dad because he used to run away to go and play the bongo <laughs> all the way in Kanu she would tie up her like this and go there and go carry him so when we started doing music and he was like well music music my grandmother was like don't listen to him or it's not <laughs> Kanu I used to come and carry him but uh, most definitely my family has been amazing and supportive you know very supportive I really wouldn't come this far without their support their encouragement because this journey is not easy um, doing music in Nigeria especially alternative music you know um, folk music in Nigeria it's like you just want to die maybe that's your mission that's why you just want to do you just you just want to be unappreciated and irrelevant that's why you exit that kind of music so it's been rough it's been stressful you know but for the support of of, of my my family my team i'm not gonna lie that's what's got me this far i've, I've almost given up a lot of times so but we're, we're here you know we're here we're still doing what we're doing i am a phd i am a criminologist i i'm a yogi and i'm a musician but i am foremost a musician <laughs> foremost a musician and all these are the elements that even make the music more juicy you know these are the stories that feed the music that inform the music yeah. shining on me feel something good is coming stars above the sky oh, she's short for one that's one thing well on the other hand she's like a very interesting person, you know, very talented, troublesome, you know, we fight a lot. She's a bully, but she can cook, but not good food, you know. Yeah. Um, for Blessing and I, it was different. Uh, Blessing's talent happens to be primordial in the sense that um, my mother, her grandmother, uh, uh, she qualifies to be called a native uh, comedian or singer. In fact, the best in our community. So, uh, Blessing just didn't become a musician. She got it from somewhere. Uh, when I was in class three in secondary school, I had left the secondary school to go and do music, and I was arrested in Joss, you know, and taken back home. And uh, since that time, I've always known that there's an uh, innate talent, you know, waiting you know, to be exploited. So when I took her to US to drop her, I was leaving her, I felt emotional, I knew she was going to be alone. And all that I remembered was to take her to a shop and I said, what do you want to buy for you? And she said, a guitar. I left her you know, uh, with a guitar and that's what I have today. The blessing tank band that Nigeria is enjoying. Well, as a musician, I feel she makes very, very good music, I understand? But I also feel like her type of music is not really appreciated in the kind of system we are in. But overall, she's like a very, very talented musician from her instrumentals to like her guitar pickings and, you know, the lyrics and everything to her bandmates and her crewmates and everything. You no, know, for this folk singer, Blessing Tangban, you know, it's difficult to be proud about uh, uh, any human being, especially if that person is your blood. But this is... Um, a spiritual meteorite going somewhere to happen. You know, she, she combines it with, uh, with a lot of hard work. She's, she's a bookworm. Uh, I am her greatest fan. In fact, I'm her in-house manager. Uh, I have listened to that music already, and I know that the world is about to hear what they haven't heard. Anyone who knows me internally, personally, personally, like me, me, they know I fall sick a lot. <laughs> it's very stressful. It's very stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Any jack of all trades is, is stressful. And it's not like I must be a jack of all these trades. It's just the way my life is set up at the moment. Do you get what I mean? I'm still going to school, trying to get my PhD. You know, hopefully that's gonna be of some use much later down the line. God is the one that knows the reason why we do the things that we do. Um, but like I said, these personalities are the ones that feed the music, these experiences. If I was just, it's very hard to just sit down and carry a guitar and say you want to write a song. When you have no story, that's why you have some of the music that you have today. No name calling. But 
experience is what gives life is what gives meaning to sound it's what gives it's what gives a story and that's what people can relate to a lot of people have told me oh blessing do one afrobeat song here do one this this is all great if that's what you're called to do you understand what i mean well, i bet you money if i sat down and just went in the studio and was just doing like you will not even feel what i'm saying because there's no me behind it so all these other things i do in life they inform my music they 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 create it and you know the rest is just melody and, and production something good is coming stars above the sky surrounding my name okay so first of all i'm going to take the lady part out um because again if, even if you talk to actors and actresses now everybody just trying to be known for what they do and not by their agenda so as an artist doing alternative music in nigeria that's where the challenge is in the first place not being taken seriously i think you're joking you know because that kind of music is not popular here yet and the ones that are popular are backed by these big labels so if you really don't have that glam and pizzazz that you know the alternative musicians that are popping right now have it's almost like you're struggling or you're you're upcoming or whatever whatever anyways being up and about you know you know doing a lot of gigs and stuff like that let me just be honest and maybe i'm gonna get shot in the foot for this but it's really just industry metrics you're seen you perform numbers go home does that does that equal that your music is great does it equal money does it equal you know getting what you think is your value no if i'm going to be honest a lot of the gigs i did that were all blown up last year one naira shingbai no touch my body shingbai but i'm going to do it because you need to see me and equate that well, okay since i'm on this bill with this person then i must be big but you know <laughs> a lot of people just saw me for the first time but maybe at the Lagos concert or at whiskey's concert they don't know. I don't know if you get. They don't even know the root of this. They don't even know the challenges or what, what it even takes for an artist that is not yet, you know, that does not have this big label backing to to pull all the resources together. I'm talking about a whole, a full band. You're talking about outfits. You're talking about your backstage crew, your your camera, your video. Who is your sponsor? Who is your backup? And then you do all that. You still. <laughs> You come up and you're still not taken seriously. I think at this point, the only thing that I can say about it is that challenge is challenge. It's always there when you're building your brand. You know, financial challenges, not being taken seriously challenges, you know, crowd mentality challenges. Favorite track on the EP would have to be Phoebe. I, I feel, I feel spirit, I feel my ancestors, I feel, I feel God, I feel magic, I feel, I feel story, I feel everything at once when I'm listening to that song. Not that I don't have love for the rest though, <laughs> of course I do, I mean, but my all-time favorite, in fact, I'll say my most favorite song ever that I've ever written would be Phoebe, and, and if you listen to that song, Keep the problems of your life outside. Just, just you alone and music. Anywhere you can stream digital music in the world, OOF is available. Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, Deezer, Boomplay, Apple Music, iTunes, your backyard, your radio, your, your, that place you used to go and download illegal MP3 from. Not just okay too exclusive <laughs> and also on my website www.blessingt.com slash music always available there and in fact you can just go there exclusively right now and buy it without going through all the hassles and, and you know so yeah and there's also a place on my website you can donate if you feel like you love what i'm doing www.blessingt.com slash donate give 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 the more you give the more I do. Thank you guys so much. Please listen to the EP, listen to the EP, listen to the EP because it is out of the ordinary feel.